exercise three, we'll go ahead and start by creating a new part. We will save this part as exercise three. Remember that underscore, add a description, third SOLIDWORKS part. Just get in the habit of actually adding a description for each one of the parts that you create. Save. Again, we're going to uh, be looking at units this time. This time we're going to change units. So go to the gear called Options. Go to Document Properties. Remember that unless I say otherwise, your standard will always be ANSI. Go to Units and change to MMGS. This is a metric problem. Change the length of unit to none for the number of decimals and the angle to none for the number of degrees and that's for the decimal to the right of the answer so millimeters we're going to do it to the whole millimeter once you're satisfied with that click OK and we'll start the part again this part is done on the front plane I'm going to come over to the front plane right click start a new sketch Click L on the keyboard or just find line and what I want you to do is just sketch that geometry and there's our geometry so you should see relations now that are horizontal and vertical and that's what we want what we're going to do now is just dimension this with the smart dimension Change that first one to 85. The next one adjacent to it, the vertical line, to 40. The top vertical line to 50. And the right, or excuse me, left side to 65. This should fully define the sketch. Once you have the sketch fully defined, check the button. Go to Features. We're extruding this one, and the extruded dimension is going to be 20 millimeters so the D1 dimension now 20 and check we'll check the green check mark now we've got the fully defined fully created part and we're just gonna rotate this a little bit to check then we're gonna come back in with the space bar use the isometric view that also brings it fully developed on the screen remember we're gonna change the appearance now we're going to make this one slightly red in color or pink and check and the last thing we're going to do is to get into the habit of changing the names of each of these features to base sketch in this case and as we get to be more uh, comprehensive in making parts this is base feature we're going to name other features as we our feature tree gets to be way more comprehensive over time. So now that we've done that, control S. And let's go back and just check here in the base sketch. It's fully defined, so there's no minus sign next to the base. Let's edit this sketch, and you can see now we have fully def full definition. So remember that blue is underdefined, black is fully defined sketch, Red or yellow is an overdefined sketch. Now we can return from the sketch to the part, type the letter F to bring that part into full view, Control S one more time, and that is exercise three.